Transparency. Integrity. Unity. Accountability. Working together for your prosperity. During campaign seasons, the word that we hear the most is the word manifesto. It's repeated over and over, but let's not take for granted the fact that you may not know what a manifesto is. So, what is a manifesto? In layman's terms, a manifesto is a projected plan to improve or upgrade an organization or country over a specific time period. A manifesto, in other words, is a promise of a political party or, in our terms, a slate to its people. With Empower Mentors, we listened. We listened to what you had to say. We listened to your complaints and strategically developed these solutions to the problems that you say we are incurring. So this, this manifesto was created and structured just for you. So we present to you the manifesto of the Empower Mentors team. After repeated requests by the members and careful consideration of internal and external factors affecting members of the Big Woo listed below, the strategies identified in this manifesto seek to address these issues. The general membership and the secondary leadership, that is shop stewards, branch officers, general council members, that are seeking improvement in the visibility on the ground and the union's general response time to calls for service and support. The world of work is becoming progressively more time and energy consuming for our members. The employers, both individually and collectively, are intentionally using current economic factors to fragment the collective strength of members and reduce benefits previously won, forcing the union to seek justice and redress in the industrial court. Empower Mentors Manifesto Empower Mentors is a team of highly motivated and dedicated comrades. We aim to bring fruition the mission and vision of our union, Big Woo. Through education, participation and mentoring, we can empower our members to become great leaders and secure the viability of our union that will be beneficial for our future. Our core values are transparency, integrity, accountability, and unity. Values that we embody. The basis for which this manifesto is founded is guided upon the acceptance and participation of all members who will ensure that the union will protect their rights and fight for justice related to grievances and negotiations using the best industrial relations experts to represent you. Your labor relations officers, LROs, will have the necessary competency and technical skills to successfully navigate at the Ministry of Labor and the Industrial Court. The labor relation officers will dedicate time to mentoring our shop stewards. The women and youth committees would be empowered to realize their constitutional objectives to fulfill significant roles in the union via succession. Without exception, the principles of transparency, fairness, and competence will exist throughout the union's operations and the conduct of all officers and workers. Comrades, for the last fiscal period, Big U's actual expenditure have exceeded its budgeted expenditure by more than $455,000. Ask what can team and power mentors do to, to ensure that this doesn't happen again. Firstly, we would start off by doing a SWOT analysis. Whilst on the budget committee last year, I would have done a SWOT analysis and realized that one of our biggest weaknesses is lack of proper procedure and strong internal controls. To ensure that our actual expenditure stays in line with our budgeted expenditure going forward, implement internal controls for overtime. What this does is that it not only 
acts as a guideline for overtime. It also ensures accountability or implementing proper procurement policies to ensure that Big U gets its highest value for money spent. In the short term, the first year, October 2022 to September 2023, the financial goal will be to redirect and refocus the union's financial and human resources to recruit and empower new leaders within the union to best serve the members. To do this, we will reduce or cease all non-essential expenditure and redirect funds to improve the industrial relations operations and personnel and complement and revitalize the women's and youth committees. Once successful, the financial accounts and balance sheet will highlight a reduction and reallocation of expenses. Performance improvements in the LROs. This goal seeks to execute intensive training programs for LROs using a specific ratio of officers with the number of branches and members of the union. This goal will seek to improve and maintain service delivery. To achieve this, we will implement a full-time on-the-job training program for new LROs that incrementally introduces the participant to continuously challenging levels of industrial relations. LROs will achieve this goal by conducting their daily duties through a combination of academic training with greater emphasis on hands-on training via mentorship by experienced IR practitioners. A measure of this success will be represented in the physical development and execution of the training plan, the use of performance appraisals, recording and measuring dispute resolution time and statistics, and feedback from the general council members. Team Empowerment's medium-term action plan consists of three major goals. One, commitment to succession planning by identifying suitable candidates for our leadership through the different operational arms in our organization. Two, developing training plan by networking with other trade unions to develop a robust training program to also ensure continuity. And three, revitalizing our women's and youth committee by investing in our women's committee to help develop our sociological well-being in this current economical sociological climate and by empowering women to be visible and vocal in the leadership. Join us as we work together to ensure your prosperity. In the medium term, the second year, October 2023 to September 2024, we will look at committed succession planning to identify organizational human resource needs and plan strategies for training and mentoring. We will work together with the general council and branches to attract and retain suitable candidates for leadership on the central executive, women's and youth committees. Success in this area will be determined by the completion and execution of the training schedules from lists of interested persons, ensuring that the General Council holds the Central Executive accountable to action same. Training and Mentorship We will redesign the Union's training programs to better serve the membership and branch officers at all levels, that is, introductory, intermediate and advanced. Identify the training needs of the membership and shop stewards body and recalibrate the union's training courses in alignment with the challenges most experienced on the ground. We will mentor potential labor relations officers and persons interested in serving on committees via a part-time membership program from members who currently reside in our branches. We will attain this by outsourcing or networking with other trade unions to facilitate training sessions geared towards enhancing and improving the branch officer's skills and experience. We will develop an annual training plan, partnering with mentors both internally and externally, and build alliances with other women and youth organizations in the country that will mentor our women and youth leaderships. Feedback from the trainees will seek to improve deficient areas feedback from the general council members and branch leadership 
and surveys will be done after training sessions. The long term, October 2024 and beyond, we will analyze business continuity and leadership empowerment. We seek to confirm interested and committed comrades who have the capacity for leadership or the technical proficiencies necessary to propel the union forward. We will alleviate the fear of a lack of continuity of the union's purpose of bringing prosperity to the members of the Big Wu. We will provide advanced leadership training with emphasis on exposure to other trade unions governance and workshops conducted by experienced trade unionists. Through previously held training and mentorship sessions, identify and seek commitment of interested parties for the central executive elected positions. Provide opportunities to the membership to fill vacancies within the union through secondment. Train the general council members on the interpretation and application of the constitution of the union and the roles and responsibilities of each central executive position. Provide the union's leadership with external learning and growth opportunities annually. Successful outcome in this area will be represented by a concrete list of competent persons identified and trained in both aspects of the union's functions, administrative and industrial relations, who previously confirmed their commitment to hold positions. This will be executed one year prior to the end of the term of office that is, by September 2025. Incorporate training sessions as part of the agenda for general council meetings. Engage in question and answer sessions and provide incentives for correct answers and participation. Solicit feedback and suggestions thereafter. Team Empowermenters want to ensure the continuity of the union and its operations and empower its members to take the reins. In the last two years of office, we want to ensure that confirmed members give their commitment to serving this union and want to be part of a progressive union in the future. Our general council meetings will be fun-filled while educating the members and allowing them to hold us accountable for what we say we will do throughout the term. We look forward to working with you and for you.